So tell us, tell us a little bit about your group. All right, so we are the Axe Women Loggers of Maine. We are a team of professional lumberjills. We travel all over North America. We compete in chopping, sawing, axe throwing, log rolling. We've got world champions on our team, world record holders, collegiate champions. Yeah. There, and you're a three-time? I'm a three-time world champion. Awesome. Yeah. Cool beans. And you have a website, it's axewomen.com. Yeah. And then down there somewhere is gonna be some links and some additional information. Um, and you said you guys have a YouTube channel, but you're just getting started do, with it. Yeah, we are okay. working on that. Yep. Awesome. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. will give you four throws. The, your first throw is a practice throw, so it doesn't count. And then you get three scoring throws. So the center is the bullseye, that's where five three. Every line from there goes down one. So five, four, three, two, one. And that, you know, so your a top score is going to be at 15. Um, you know, the year I won the world championships, I think I won it with a 12. So, um, and you know, then there'll be lots of ties and runoffs. And how, many, how many rounds do you go? You do that just one time? Yep, that's, that's it. it. Yep. And usually, um, you know, so the timber sports, like you'll go and you'll compete at a Woodsman's Day or a, an event as all day, and you can enter as many events as you want. So, you know, you might want to enter cross cut sawing and chopping, and uh, we do a PV log rolling where it's a teamed yeah. competition you do all to. That? Yep. You yep. You uh, do the log rolling too? Yep. That's fine. Yep. <laughs> And so you'll be competing all day, and then in your free time, in between events, you'll have a few hours to go and do your axe throwing. Okay. And then, you know, if everyone has done it by, you know, 2 o'clock or whatever the cutoff time is, then they'll start calling the people that have ties to come back. And mm -hmm. then usually you just get one throw. Like you, it's no practice. You just, you know, you walk up with the person that you've tied with, and it's sudden death. You know, yeah. Okay. You figure out who throws first, and that's it. If you throw a 5 and I throw a 4, then you win that day. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yep. So there's no like style or uh, form or anything. You can, you know, you'll have a line. You'll have a, a 20 foot line is what you throw from. Um, as long as you don't step over the line, you can throw it anyway. I like to take yeah. a step. Um, you know, that's where I get a lot of my momentum. Like, I'll take a big step and throw it overhand. Um, you know, some people just stand right on the line right. and throw it like this. Um, you can also throw it underhanded. Wow. Like that. Um, my husband Mike, he'll throw it one handed. So uh, it really doesn't matter how so, you throw it. So it's all a matter of whatever it takes to get it exactly where it's supposed yep, to be. Yep, it's whatever works for you. It's not like. Um,